not to be afraid of math because a lot of people are say like, oh, I like reading more than math, you know, and we don't want people to feel like that math is a bad thing. It just take a little time. And with different ways to attack them problems, you can get through it. In order for people to understand math literacy, they first have to understand that math and learning math is one of those obstacles that a lot of people have. When I was younger, I struggled with math a lot. And, you know, like, I've had like different people, like tutors try to help me with math, but like I could never really like grasp it. I know when I was younger in school, I had a really hard time understanding math, and I really wish somebody, especially around my age instead of a teacher's age, would make it fun and interactive. We want our students to break that chain of not being confident in math, and the only way that we can do it is if we get them interested and them energized in doing math. I think I like working with the Young People's Project is because they have like a different spin on how to like make kids understand math more clearly. We all taught each other the Mobius game and then the Flagway game and we did different math strategies games so you know your primary composite number and so that's why we're here in Washington DC today so we can do the Flagway tournament. Blue right here, right? So you're, boom, your next call. We are at the Three. National Math Festival and we are doing activities based on the Flagway game structure. And then we have a bunch of activities that we do with them. And it's basically about like prime factorization and categorizing certain numbers into different groups or colors. Today is our first National Math Flagway tournament. We have five different teams from across this country to come in and participate today. We believe in near-peer tutoring, and we believe that it's really important that students learn from people that they look up to and someone that they can relate to. Helping them figure it out through the process, it was really enjoyable. Like their reaction was just like, wow, like, I can do this to every ch child, every parent, every single time and still get that same excitement. It's been really fun so far. It's just been really nice to be here in Washington, D.C. So it was a nice thing to see. The thing about games is that students, when they're playing games, they're usually learning without knowing that they're learning. And that's the best thing. If you can make learning fun in a way that students are already picking up these concepts and not aware of it, or thinking about these concepts, or thinking about how to solve these problems, critical thinking is very important. When a young person can show another young, young person something, that's just brilliant. Because if you start young like that, ain't no telling you know, what it's going to be later on.